Hello dear students, today's topic is topographic anatomy and operative surgery of the lower limb. At the level of fourth lumbar vertebra, the abdominal aorta is divided into two common iliac arteries, left common iliac artery and right common iliac artery. At the level of the sacroiliac joint, the common iliac artery is divided into two, the external iliac artery and internal iliac artery. Moving on into internal iliac artery, it runs along the medial edge of the psoas major muscle downward into the pelvic cavity and the upper edge of the greater sciatic foramen to be divided into the posterior trunk and anterior trunk. Posterior trunk gives off three branches, iliolumbar lumbar artery, lateral sacral artery and superior gluteal artery. Iliolumbar lumbar artery in turn gives off through br two branches. iliac and lumbar. Lumbar artery supplies blood to the lumbar spine, lumbar muscles and lumbar skin. Ilia lumbar artery supplies the ilium and the iliacus muscle anastomosis with a deep artery that bends around the ilium. Lateral sacral artery descends along the pelvis orifices of the sacrum, laterally from them, supplies levator levi ani and performs trunks of the sacral plexus. Superior gluteal artery exits the pelvis through the suprapiriform opening to the gluteal muscles, accompanying superior gluteal nerve, supplies the gluteus medius and gluteus minimus. Next, we'll talk about anterior trunks, and anterior trunk gives off following branches. Umbilical artery, superior vesical artery, obturator artery, inferior vesical artery, vaginal artery, middle rectal artery, internal pudendal artery, inferior gluteal artery, and uterine artery. Obturator artery. Obturator artery runs along the lateral wall of the lesser pelvis and through the obturator canal goes to the thigh. It supplies blood to the hip joint and adductors of the thigh. Next is umbilical artery. Umbilical artery throughout the entire length function only functioned only in the embryo and in adults it remains as a ligamentum umbilicalis. Superior vesical artery supplies the superior parts of the bladder. Inferior vesical artery supplies the inferior parts of the bladder and in men the prostate and seminal vesicles, anastomosis with the superior urinary arteries and branches of the internal genital artery. Middle rectal artery goes to the rectum, vascularizing its middle section, anastomosis with the superior and inferior rectal arteries. Vaginal artery supplies the vagina. Internal pudendal artery leaves the pelvic cavity through the piriform opening and through the small sciatic opening enters the sciatic rectal fossa where it gives off the inferior rectal artery, perineal artery as well as arteries to the urethra, vagina, clitoris, anastomosis with the uterine and external genital arteries. Next we have inferior gluteal artery exits the pelvis through the piriformis opening to the gluteal muscles accompanying superior gluteal nerve. It supplies blood to the muscles and skin of the gluteal region region and the hip joint. Next, let's talk about the borders of the femoral triangle.
superior border of the femoral triangles inguinal ligament, lateral border sartorius muscle, medial border is adductor longus. Posteriorly we have iliopsoas and pectineus muscles. Femoral triangle cont contains following neurovascular bundles, femoral artery, femoral vein and femoral nerve. Let's move on to the adductor hunt channel canal. The borders of the canal are lateral wall is represented by vastus medialis. Medial wall is adductor magnus and superior medial bed of the thigh adductor longus. A vascular bundle of the canal is femoral artery. femoral vein, saphenous nerve, and descending genicular artery. Let's talk about popliteal fossa. Borders of the popliteal fossa, superior medially, we have semitendinosus and semimembranosus muscles. Superior laterally, there is a biceps femoris, on the inferior side, we have medial and lateral heads of gastrocnemius muscle. The neurovascular bundle of the triangle is tibial nerve, fibular nerve, popliteal artery and popliteal vein. Thank you very much for your attention.